kid, every time I go to the supermarket, I would go straight to the front of the magazine rack and read the Cosmo sex tips. <laughs> so as a kid, I knew a lot about how to please a woman. And then I reached high school, and I was so neurotic and so anxious that I didn't do anything about it. Um, so this journal is from when I was 18, at the peak of my sexual frustration, about to go on a big trip to Europe. Uh, and I wrote about what I wanted to do, and then what I actually ended up happening. <laughs> so this is July 27th at 1.09 a.m. <laughs> I'm on the verge of something big. I know it because I haven't been able to sleep since I arrived in New York a week ago. So I've been thinking about it for the past week. I think I can put to words what's been keeping me up so late. I'm beating myself up mentally for not being a man. And it's not only because I haven't gotten any in the last three years of high school, despite being surrounded by all sorts of beautiful girls who probably want it more than I do. <laughs> because I'm not man enough to go for it with anybody. I was bar mitzvah five years ago. I don't think I'm a man yet, because I haven't made a move on anyone in three fucking years. I just didn't have the balls to do it. Twice, once at her place and once at mine, Veronica and I have slept in the same bed, and despite wanting her more than anyone in school, each time I came up with a cop-out reason not to make a move because I am just a big pussy. <laughs> well, I've had enough. I haven't been staying up at night dwelling on the past as much as I've been torturing myself, fantasizing about my future sexual exploits once I break out of my shell. I want to set myself goals of at least trying to make real my fantasies, whether or not they go as far in reality, by the end of summer. Here some of them are. <laughs> Veronica to help make me the best kisser ever, as well as the best pussy eater in Seattle. I want this bad, and I think it can happen because I remember that on Thanksgiving 1999, she told me that she thinks friends should have sex. I don't know who would disagree that that is a direct invitation. Unfortunately, it's an invitation that up until now, I haven't taken her up on. So now is the time. I also want to kiss and whatnot Kate Bartholomew during one of my Italian lessons, and even Sarah C. As weird as it is, I really want to surprise her with a good kiss and let it go from there. Then there's Stephanie, who I actually think I will call on the phone and tell her that I want to kiss her and make out with her, and then invite her to come over whenever she wants. <laughs> of course, Stephanie can't be first, because that is no way for a pussy like me to get any. I'm going to have to make a move either on Veronica or Kate first, and until then, I will have to be the aggressor. I will have to be my Tyler Durbin, and there's an asterisk, the alter ego from Fight Club. <laughs> and risk getting smacked down. The thing is, with Veronica, I really want to stay in touch through college, while the other three I could care less about the next year. <laughs> I have nothing to lose. So why not bet the farm? One last girl I can think of right now is Katie J. I don't want a relationship, but I do want to keep in touch and for some reason would love to kiss softly, meaning no tongue, but strongly enough that she'll feel it deep down. <laughs> so, setting aside Kate and Sarah, because I will have to wow them with my kissing, I will now officially make Veronica, Steffi, and Katie my goals for the summer in that order. <laughs> my Tyler keeps telling me, fuck it, man, quit fantasizing and start getting some. I hope these goals help force me to listen. Good night, 1.56 a.m. <laughs>
So that was July, and this is September. Um, September 10th. All right, it's taken me a while to fess up, but at least I'm doing it. I didn't do anything with any of those girls before mentioned. It's just embarrassing that after all that sleepless time I spent thinking about it and writing about it at 1 a.m., but anyway, I fessed up and I'm not going to dwell because what I need is guts and dwelling won't help. That, that was September 10th and the next entry is September 11th. I'm still on the plane to London, but I have to, trans I have to transcribe what just happened. I'll start from the beginning. <laughs> I have the aisle seat on the right side of the plane, and a woman sits in the window seat right next to me. She's quite attractive, though middle-aged looking, <laughs> but cute to say the least. Before we introduce ourselves, she asked me if I should be starting school tomorrow, Monday. I respond by asking her to guess my age. She guesses 16, and when I tell her I'm 18, she says that she wishes she was still 18. I smile and laugh, and then after a pause, I look back and ask her, why? <laughs> Her eyes. 
and with a confused smile, she asked, what was that all about? <laughs> refrained from saying something stupid like, you're beautiful, and explained that it was something I wanted to do. Still surprised, she said something like, oh dear. <laughs> her eyes again. But I just didn't care. My heart was really racing and utter sa utterly satisfied with myself for going through with it. I sat back and smiled with my eyes closed with my left hand on my pounding heart. Right now, she is sleeping again, and despite a little flush of embarrassment, I feel like I just conquered the world. <laughs>